Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to quick talk about today before we get started. I have been playing Dungeon Encounters, a full Let's Play. I'm, p I'm putting this on the main channel so people can see. I have about 21 videos, about 40 minutes to an hour each. So we've been playing for roughly 18 to 20 hours of this game, give or take. And I've decided to quit, at least for now on part 22. Yo, did I skip 21 or maybe I forgot to put it in there? But I just don't feel like playing this game anymore. And there are a couple of reasons why. The main one being that the game just is not fun anymore 20 hours in 18 to 20 hours in there's a couple of reasons for that and i want to tell you that yes i do still highly recommend this game this is on steam it is on um switch which is the version i'm playing square enix of course and a, a lot of people saw the main first review they were hyped about this as well it reminded them all about the old dungeon crawler games and i do have to say if you are looking for that chill experience you know that that little basic nothing but gameplay experience it's here however after you play for the first two to four hours you've seen almost everything the game has to offer every couple of floors you will admittedly start getting some new skills but it doesn't change up the gameplay you're still doing the exact same thing running to different tiles trying to look for all of the secret little things there finding treasure but for the most part all the characters play the same they have small differences with hp growth you know and speed growth but they could all you know for the most part there are some special weapons p other guys can use but everyone can use the same magic weapons everyone can use the same attacks and all of the battles at least for how i've been playing play out the exact same way you just spam the best move you have and then you farm for an equipment and then you put it on everybody so you have to fa you have to farm four of a certain weapon of a certain armor and then you get to move on to the next floor you farm for that one you go to the next floor and you do it over and over again it was very fun and addicting the first 10 hours <laughs> but after 10 more hours of playing it I'm only about 50% of the way done, at least if we're going to go according to the floors up here. In this episode, it was like another hour long, and we went for about uh, a couple more floors, so 54, 55. That's when it gets it started slowing down a lot, and it became more and more annoying. The combat's okay. It is like very chill, and it's just like kill an enemy, hope you don't die. You know, The game gives you a ton of ways to uh, give you immunity against a lot of status effects at the very beginning of the game the first couple hours it's rough because you don't know what's in the game you know enemies can steal your money they can poison you and even worse they can petrify your characters making it so you have to leave them behind but if you play safe the very first couple of hours you're going to start getting abilities to make it immune but then you see more and more stupid things um, enemies are going to destroy your items they're going to eat your character Maybe you're going to fall in pit traps and it's going to scatter everyone around. And it's just not fun. It's not that it's not challenging. It's a different type of challenge. This is more annoying than fun. And playing a lot of other games in the middle of this, because we've, we've been playing this for almost about a month now, like every single day. It is... I just, I just don't want to play it anymore. It's getting really annoying. And the gameplay is not changing enough to be fun. I will give you an example of a game that I am playing right now, which I really like. As uh, you know, I'm recording this thing, and that is Undernaught a Labyrinth of Yomi. I have that Let's Play going on in the VOD channel as well. That game is another first person dungeon crawler, and it has so much story. It has a lot of, you know, has a lot of uh, animations, you know, uh, sorry, sprites, different sprites. Um, all the characters look cool. And most importantly, there's strategy, there's difficulty. You can make your own party, you can name them. Everyone has, you know, really good spells to learn. You know, you can allocate points into different abilities. Here, you get you, nothing. You find different wanderers, and the only thing that is special about them is uh, the sprite, is the, the, the portrait. The portrait, and maybe they have slightly better stats, more speed or something, and they can wear a specific item, maybe like a sword, that you find on that same level. But then as you play for like another hour, that sword becomes moot, mute. And then there's a lot of different other weapons that just increase it. So the game got really annoying and really fast. Not saying you shouldn't play it or complete it. Like I said, I played for about 20 hours and I enjoyed it up until the level floor 50 plus. It just got way too long to chart the areas. 
And you might be saying, you don't have to chart all the areas. You can just, you know, continue going to floor 51, 52, 67. You can keep skipping. What's the point of the game if you're just going to skip it all? And you absolutely need to uh, chart everything so you get ability points. You increase your maximum ability points because that is what you need to equip all of the passive immunity items. Otherwise, yeah, you are going to get petrified. You're not going to be able to equip a lot of heals, etc. So you need all that. So the game forces you to do that. Otherwise, you're going to run into some enemies, which is going to destroy your party. You're going to get team wiped. Then you have to get another party to go up, train them up a little bit if you want. Or maybe try to find them and get lucky, pick them up, rescue them. You have to heal them all. There's a lot of back and forth. There's a ton of things that they call map uh, map riddles and math riddles where it got super annoying. So we, we looked up the actual um, the solutions for them. And it was still annoying because you have to go to the, ex the exact floor and stuff. This game, though it doesn't do anything new, it kind of felt like an experiment on whether or not in 2021 people still want these types of games. Are they willing to forego story? Are they willing to forego heavy, heavy character progression, customization, you know, all, and narration and just use the bare bones, the bare bones gameplay, charting and fighting? I'd say yes, I want that. But, having played this game for however long, the gameplay did not improve over time. It did not improve. It's the same thing you're doing the first couple of hours. And that's the most disappointing thing about Dungeon Encounters. This game, you know, people praise it. Oh, it's back to basics. It's just the combat. It's just gameplay. The gameplay doesn't really change. So, th that's the problem I had with this. I know a lot of people, you know, playing their own time and they're, they're having fun. And they're, they're beating it and going through it. That's perfectly fine. But for me, I want more challenge. I want more other stuff. And here it just got annoying. So, you know, it's not bad. I still recommend that I still stand by my review of the game. Get it. Support. But, I, you know, I was just looking for a little bit more. Just a little bit more. But the game is not bad. Not bad at all. So, if you guys want to see the Let's Play, I have the whole playlist on the secondary channel. And, of course, we are still going to be streaming under not. So, please watch out for that one. Because that's a good game. But Dungeon Counters, it's good. But I think I'm done. Personally, I think I'm done. But you keep playing it. It's a good game. <laughs>